Hi guys. Hey, where are we at today, Randy? Uh We're at Home Depot. <laughs> and what are we what, what are we doing today? Or we can get some plywood so we can skin the inside of the door and trim it out. So we're going to take you guys along with us to go pick out our plywood. It how, should be so exciting. How fun is that? <laughs> totally an exciting video. <laughs> oh, so many choices at Home Depot. Where do you begin? What are we looking for? Three quarter inch plywood and quarter inch plywood. But so here's what always happens at the at the the stuff that's dirty or been here longer or beat up gets put on top of the pile. Yeah, we always dig down through the piles, don't we? I'm notorious for that. So we found the plywood we're looking for. It's right here, and check out the pattern on it. Too bad we're covering it up. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a bunch of voids. It's a better yeah, quality yeah. for what we're doing. Okay, load her up. We're going to make filler pieces. Right. These are going to go on the inside and be laminated for the outer skin. And then they're going to be blended in together. You know what I'm most excited about? What? I need to go buy some wood glue. Ah! I haven't used wood glue. For so, for so long, I mean, at least five I'm months. I'm gonna go buy wood glue. What's up, YouTube? Hey, people, a thought occurred to me just as he was marking out those circles. It doesn't all have to be glass. It could be, the circles could be another media. Just could be my goldfish bowl. That could be your goldfish bowl. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> uh, okay, where am I? I'm fixing the inside trim piece for this door, really, and it's confusing. Some people have looked at it and go, oh, pretty green and so on, but it is going to be painted white or whatever color we choose in the end. And what it is a way to trim all these windows. So we got creative with the windows, but in the process of being creative with the windows, we created a nightmare for putting molding around the windows. So yeah, I created it. But I need this trim piece to go and come up to the windows on the inside in here. Using router techniques, I traced the first openings on this thing and cut them on here and trued them up. And then, I glued these pieces. So I put these pieces in the openings. I put them in there. I used screws to pull them up and glue them in place. And now I'm using the outside skin as a template to route this plywood to, plywood to the size of those openings. I already flush trimmed this one up. Now this is the same size as the opening over there and it'll drop right in on top of it and come up right behind the glass. So I'll do this one. But this is not a how-to video. I'm not, I don't make how-to videos. This is just what I'm doing. When it goes on there with the glass underneath it. It'll all come together. It'll make more sense because I still got to flip it over and radius the edge back the other way, which is another step. So this ball bearing on this router is running off of this quarter inch plywood underneath. So the, this one is done and this one is done. And here's what he's talking about. That is all getting trimmed off. Correct. Right, because I didn't want to, I couldn't make this pattern be perfect. match up with the other one in the slop in the holes in the door, so this is the way I did it. All right, so now maybe this make more sense that we've got these all trimmed flush with these openings, because we got these openings by tracing that before we started. 
then we filled these voids. Anyways, that's how we got to this. And the whole purpose of this is this will drop in here. And there's a gap in here for the double stick tape and for the glass to fit in there. And when it's all installed, then this will pinch it down from the other side. Right? Cool. You are so smart. But this is paint. This is going to be painted. That's why I wasn't worried about using these screws. <coughs> but I took the screws out, and now we'll go back in there with wood filler, and we'll fill those holes. And I'm also going to radius these edges so it softens the edges. So that's what we're going to do now is radius the edges. These are the roundover bits. So we can put whatever one of these radiuses we want on the top edge now. Ooh. On a great big open thing like this, we can use this big one. It'll look great. Okay guys, um, we're at a point where we're ready to wood filler the holes and sand them down. And then we will have um, this completed, ready to go for paint. So we just want to thank you guys for following us along on this journey and we appreciate everyone's support so much and just hope you have a wonderful day. We love you. Bye.